Back everyone. On this one I wanted to talk about how the right perceives the left. I think I've been a little bit too soft as being a liberal on well, well how the right or the Republicans kind of view liberals. So I found a video from Free Thought which is kind of a right-leaning media source and I like some of the stuff that they do cover because some of it is anti-SJW stuff and is for free speech which I don't think free speech is a totally right-wing concept that's a left-wing concept as well but just some of the the abhorrent things that have been becoming to be known as the left side I just wanted to clarify that not all the people on the left have gone down this road. We have a t-shirt here that says, Taxation is theft. Well, I don't really see it that way. Sometimes I feel like I'm misrepresented in my in the, in the taxes. There are some things that my tax dollars pay for that I don't agree with. Like a lot of the times I've looked at education in the school districts around me and thought, what are my tax dollars paying to teach you kids if you don't even know as a senior in high school taking a biology class that you're made out of microscopic organisms known as cells? I kind of question what you're being taught and I kind of want my money back because that's not that's not what I think education should be. Taxation is not theft though. I am for the redistribution of wealth. I think there are some, some taxes in helping the poor economic bracket in the American society. I am for that. And I think it's funny when people who make a lot of money complain about higher taxation on them as if it's going to cause them to go bankrupt. That is absolutely ridiculous and silly. We have this one. And this isn't really so much to do with the left, just as something I don't like about the right, but Christian conservative American in that order. Hmm. I don't really see myself as conservative. I'm really not. I'm actually very open-minded and very accepting of different lifestyles and different choices that people make. I'm for marijuana legalization. I am against increasing the smoking age. And some people would say that that's kind of a Republican notion. Well, I think it should be a liberal notion as well. I know it was a liberal that started the smoking ban. However, I don't think that's a liberal thing to do. I think that's more authoritarian. <clears throat> but uh, Christian, definitely not. Anti-theist. Get rid of religion. Religion sucks. It's poison. And you, you can, you're entitled to disagree with me. I know I will never change the Christian's minds out there. Definitely won't be changing any Islamic people's minds to apostasy. But, uh, yeah, atheism exists, and I think, I think it would be good if more people opened their mind to the concept that, uh, yeah, maybe there isn't a god. While others invest in gold, I invest in lead. Uh... Again, this is another just right-wing thing. I mean, there are people on the left that do support gun rights. There are. Uh, you, you can check out Jeff Holliday. He has a few video sh clips of him shooting off a shotgun. Um, I just personally, I don't want one. I, I don't. I, I really don't. American Patriot. 
I don't know, like, th this is coming from that SJW, PC, neoliberalism, authoritarian, Antifa shit. Just because someone's a liberal doesn't mean that they can't be a patriot. Yes, liberals are more inclined to question the government, but I feel that questioning the government is a patriotic thing to do. I think the people are the last in the checks and balances of the governmental system. And I think that's the way the Founding Fathers wanted it to be. So I think that's silly. Zero percent liberal. Absolutely not in my case. Again, that's just another right thing. Does my American flag offend you? Call 1-800-LEAVE-THE-USA. I remember when the Republicans were going on about that shit back in the Bush administration. I remember talking, people talking about uh, health care reform and people were talking about wanting to go to Canada or the UK to get in on some of that free health care action. And then Obama was supposed to be the answer to that. He introduced the ACA, which is an abomination to what health care, what, what socialized health care is. Okay, let, let, me, let me explain this um, at my understanding, talking to friends of mine that live in the UK, the various countries on how socialized health care works. First of all, Obama made his health care mandatory, which is authoritarian. That's that's dictatorship. That's not appropriate. That's not socialized health care. It's not what we were talking about. The countries that I am familiar with that have socialized health care, yes, they have higher taxes, but Ironically, you don't hear people complain as much about taxes in those countries as you do in the United States. For some reason, in the United States, we complain about taxes more, even though our taxes are lower than other countries. But the thing is, is it kind of, I guess, equals out, and I think the people in those countries see it, because... When you get sick over there, you don't have to worry about HMOs or whether or not you they're an in network or whatever, whether you have a PPO plan or not, it doesn't really matter. But this this is how they work. From from them talking to me, explaining to me how their socialized healthcare works. This is their words from their country. Essentially, during tax season they can pay a tax. And it's not like a huge tax dollar amount. It's not like, oh my God, that's an atrocious amount of money. No, it's, I mean, it's, you know, maybe $120 or something like that. So it's reasonable. But they pay this and then they go on the socialized health care plan. And the socialized health care plan incorporates basically the majority of the healthcare uh, administrations in their country. It, it's not like a PPO or HMO where you have to go and see specific doctors and stuff, although there are private practitioners, and I'll get into that in a minute. But essentially, this is how it works, is that you could choose that, the socialized healthcare, and pay that tax. Or you could choose privatized healthcare, which is where you would go and see the private practitioners and pay for your own health insurance. Or you could choose not to have any health insurance at all, at all. But if you go and see somebody in the healthcare field, you'd be paying everything out of pocket. But none of it's mandatory. None of it's mandatory. It's a choice. A choice. The ACA is an abomination to that. And that's where I look at Obama and go, well, I, th I think also you had a lot of hands dipped into it in America. In American politics, you have the Republicans and you have the Democrats and you have liberals and all these different people. And they all want to have their hands and they all have to come to an agreement. So you had a lot of people filibustering the plan. And even Obama said, you know, it wasn't going to be an easy task. But what was introduced with the ACA was not what the liberals, I think, were expecting. At least the liberal community that I know that was not the plan. That was not what we were expecting when we thought of socialized health care. It basically would be something that you would pay during tax season, and then you would be covered by the government. So basically, you, you'd have a, maybe a no-deductible PPO or PPO plan through the government as opposed to going through the company that you work for. 
And if you didn't have a company that you worked for, if you were unemployed or on SSI, SSDI, you would automatically be covered under the government uh, health care plan through a no deductible PPO or PPO health insurance plan, not an HMO. And it wouldn't be mandatory either. Those, those are things where the ACA messed up in. And I figured out what the fog was. It was a lack of lighting. Anyway, moving on. This one. I will fight socialism until hell freezes over. And then I will fight on the ice. What is the hang-up with socialism? Socialized health care. Like taking care of the people in society that, that are unable to. I don't have a problem with that. I'm a liberal. But uh, I'm definitely not for the social justice crap either, so. This, this is what gets me. Better red than dead, and then, you know, uh, a cross out of the sign of communism. Is this what the right has come to think of the left? People that support communism. I'm a liberal, and I do not support communism. As far as I'm concerned, that was something that the left and the right both universally were opposed to. I never knew that to be something that the left was okay with and the right wasn't. As far as I'm concerned, communism, fascism, theocracy, dictatorship, these are facets that are anti-liberal and they just fly in the face of the decency, or not, I'm not going to call it decency, but a democratized liberal nation, a Western civilization, dictatorship, liberals. Th this is where we got to change. This is, this is how the right is perceiving us as, as fascists or communists. Dictators, dictators. We're, we're pushing an, the liberal side is pushing an authoritarian agenda. That's not right. That's anti-liberal. And these pseudo-liberals are creating a bad name for real liberals. I, I, I wish that would stop. So anyway, there was a lot more. Uh, that I know those were just some t-shirts and stuff that they sell, but what bothered me is what liberals are being come to be known as by the right. And I think it's a sad state of affairs that the PC neoliberals um, PC culture neoliberals and basically the SJWs and Antifa are coming to define what liberals are. And that's a sad state of affairs because you're talking about a bunch of people that are for basically dictatorship. Whereas liberal has really, to me, meant freedom. I mean, if you look up liberal, it talks about acceptance and freedom and not constraining people's ideas just because they're different than yours. <sighs> so yeah, maybe there's a little streak in me as a liberal to be a little bit unpatriotic at times. I am a rule breaker. I've broken my fair share of laws in my day. But I'm not going to advocate for anarchy. I think something should be legalized, though. Like marijuana. I would go to the extent of saying all drugs should be legalized. But I know that uh, many conservatives out there, um, they, they don't want to wrap their head around that idea at all. And I have my reasons for that, too. There, there's some logical reasons. I'm not going to get into it, but... I, I would also like to see legalization of prostitution. I think legalization of prostitution makes it safer and stops making people that aren't criminals into criminals. So yeah, I, I am a liberal in that sense. But these are very these are liberal notions that are outside 
of PC culture, neoliberalism, the identity politics, and the authoritarian law pushing. These are the liberal constructs of trying to take facts and logical arguments and saying, I know you're conservative and I know it's painful to think about making all drugs legal and that you think chaos is just going to erupt in the streets and those damn fucking Antifa people and the SJWs are not making this easy, are they? They make it seem like chaos will erupt in the street. But no, I promise you, liberal like myself, I will not erupt into chaos and anarchy in the streets. If we make drugs legalized, I would like to see a system put in place to make it so that these drugs are safer to use and that less people are dying from them. And I think it would also increase the job output. I think there would be so many jobs that would be had to be had in the medical field, in the pharmacological field, in the pharm pharmacological field. There would just be jobs to be had and offer treatment facilities with it. They've done this over in Canada. I think it was a good idea. I'm not saying Canada is a great role model, especially in the current state and time. The things that they are doing are very authoritarian. No, 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 don't follow them entirely. I'm just saying this one aspect. I'm saying we should stop arresting people for being drug users. They have a problem. Yes. Are they criminals? No. Do some of them commit criminal activity? Absolutely. But does taking the drug itself make you a criminal? I don't believe it does. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell button on any channel that you're subscribed to so you can unsubscribe. Blah, 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 blah. But in the comments, let me know what you think. And if you're conservative, I'd love to hear what you think too because I'm not, I'm not an authoritarian pusher. You have the right to your opinion, and I want to hear it. Let's, let's really kind of coerce the idea of liberals and conservatives debating this stuff in a civil manner. That's what I'd like to see. Anyway, with that, I'm out.